Hello everyone. Good morning to all. Welcome to today's session. In this session, we'll discuss inequalities. This is reasoning part video. From this chapter, we can expect five questions in reasoning. Okay, for any competitive exam. Let me see what is an inequality. If we multiply five and three, the result is equals to fifteen. Okay. The number fifteen is equals to product of five and three. Okay, this is an equality. Coming to an equality, five into five, product of five into five is not equals to fifteen. Okay, this is an inequality. Okay, the product of five and three is equals to fifteen. This is equality. And the product of phi and phi is not equals to fifteen. We denote inequality with this sign. Okay. We have different inequality signs. Those are less than, greater than, less than or equals to, greater than or equals to, equals to. Okay. In this equality, we can see statements with comparison of two. Elements a greater than b, a less than b, a greater than r less than r equals to b, and a equals to b. We can write and compare two quantities with different signs. Okay, here this is statement. I b less than c, a less than b, and b less than c. Here two statements are there, so we are combining these two statements: a less than b less than c. This is combined form of two statements. Then, if two statements a less than b and b greater than c, okay, these two two statements are there. If we combine this. A less than B greater than C. Okay, the question is to find relation between A and C. What is the relation between A and C? So here we can observe less than and greater than. Always remember from inequalities, if we see opposite sign that is less than, greater than, or greater than, less than. Okay. we cannot find relation between two elements when we see with opposite sign okay this is no relation okay this is one more case next one a less than r equals to b less than r equals to c this is statement conclusions are First one a less than c and second one a equals to c. Okay, here we can find relation between a and c as a less than r equals to c from statement. Here a less than c in first conclusion that is true from this and second one a equals to c that is also true from this question. This is complementary pair. Okay, when we mix up these two conclusions, we can get either of them is true. That is either our case. Okay, this is either our case. At this time of situation, we should conclude the answer as either R. Okay, these inequalities are two types. one is direct inequalities another is coded inequalities in this first session we'll discuss direct inequalities okay let me start questions based on inequalities look at this question statement c less than o greater than or equals to m greater than p equals to t greater than s conclusions are s less than o T less than C, okay. Look at first conclusion S and O, okay. Here S 
I know. Then this common symbol is greater than. Okay. Greater than or equals to greater than equals to greater than. In these three common symbol is greater than. So we can conclude O greater than S. So we can write it as S less than O. Okay. So first conclusion is follows. Coming to second conclusion T less than C. T is here. C is here. In between these two opposite signs are there. That is less than greater than or equals to. So we cannot find relation between T and C. So only conclusion 1 is true for this question. Look at this question. These are direct statements. Okay. Direct inequalities. Z equals to M less than T greater than R equals to F greater than U. Conclusions are Z less than F and U less than M. Coming to first conclusion, Z and F. Z is here, F is here. In between these two, opposite inequalities are there. So, less than, greater than or equals to. So, we cannot find relation between Z and F. Coming to second, U less than M. M, U. In this also, opposite signs are there. Less than, greater than or equals to greater than. Okay? We cannot find relation in second conclusion also. U less than M. So, neither conclusion 1 nor 2 is true for this question. See this question. P less than L less than or equals to A greater than M equals to K greater than or equals to E. Conclusions are K less than or equals to L, P less than E. Okay. K and L in first conclusion. L is here, K is here. So, we can see here less than or equals to greater than. Opposite sign. So, in this situation, no relation can be established. In second conclusion, P and E. P is here, E is here. Less than, less than, greater than, greater than. So, no relation. Always remember, while doing inequalities question, when opposite signs are appeared in question, so we cannot find relation between these two situations. Okay? If it is less than, greater than, or greater than, less than. We cannot find relation between these two two quantities. Okay. So, neither conclusion 1 nor 2 is true for this question. See here, R greater than S equals to T less than R equals to U less than V greater than Z. Conclusions are Z less than T S greater than V. Coming to first conclusion Z and T. Z is here, T is here. So, opposite signs are there. So, we cannot find. S greater than V. S is here. V is here. Okay. Here, we can find relation S equals to T less than R equals to V. So, from this we can write S less than V. But, in conclusion, S greater than V. So, wrong. So, neither conclusion 1 nor 2 is true for this question. See this question. P greater than R equals to S greater than R equals to T less than R equals to V. Conclusions are T less than R R equals to T. Here T less than R. T is here R is here. From this we can write R greater than R equals to T. Then R equals to T. Here, T less than R. We can write it as R greater than T. And R equals to T. This is complementary pair. Only either of them is true. That is, R greater than R equals to T is the right conclusion from the given question. But in conclusions, 
they are divided as 2 that is t less than r and r equals to t ok this is complementary pair when we mix up these two conclusions we may get either of them is true ok, okay. when we add this we are getting this so we can conclude either one r2 is true for this question see this question a less than b less than c this is statement 1 and c equals to d less than r equals to e that is statement 2 conclusions are p greater than e d greater than a so coming to first conclusion b less than e that is b is here e is here in between less than equals to less than r equals to okay common symbol is b less than e we can conclude so here b greater than e so this is wrong next d greater than a d is here a is here from this we can conclude a less than d that is d greater than a conclusion 2 is true for this question see this question here two statements are there so we should form new statement from conclusion r less than s ok r is here s is here less than greater than so we cannot find relation between r and s then t greater than r equals to r t is here r is here so t greater than r equals to r that is right only conclusion 2 is true for this question next question P greater than R equals to A less than Y is first statement. D less than A is second statement. So conclusions are P less than Y, R less than R equals to D. P and Y. P is here, Y is here. Greater than, less than. We cannot find relation. R less than R equals to D. R is here and D is here. Okay. So A is, we can write it as A less than D. So, less than, greater than. So, no relation can be established between R and D. So, neither conclusion 1 nor 2 is true for this question. See this question. R less than K, K less than R equals to M, T greater than R equals to J, M greater than T. Conclusions are J less than M, R less than M. So, J less than M. J is here and M is here. So, we can write it as K less than R equals to M greater than T and T greater than R equals to J. Okay. So, we can write it as M greater than J. So, from this we can write J less than M. Conclusion 1, true. And R less than M. R is here and R less than K less than R equals to M. Common symbol is less than. So, R less than M. Both conclusion 1 and 2 is true for this question. Ok. See this question. W less than R equals to F. F equals to D. K greater than R equals to J. D less than K. Conclusions are K greater than W and F less than R equals to K. K and W. We can write W less than R equals to F, F equals to D, D less than K. From this, we can write W less than K. So, we can write K greater than W. So, conclusion 1 is true. And next, F less than R equals to K. F equals to D, D less than K, K greater than R equals to J. So, less than, greater than, between F and K. So, we cannot find relation. So, only conclusion 1 is true for this question. See this question. R less than R equals to D. D greater than W. B greater than R equals to W. Conclusions are W less than R. B greater than D. So, from conclusion 1, W less than R. Ok, R is here, W is here. So, we can write less than, greater than. So, no relation. Then next conclusion B greater than D. From these two we are converting this greater than to less than because D greater than W and 
W less than or equals to B. So greater than less than. We cannot find relation. So neither conclusion 1 nor 2 is true for this question. Next question. F less than W. W greater than V. V equals to B. And B greater than or equals to D. Conclusion are F less than B. And second one D less than V. Coming to first conclusion F less than B. So F less than W. W greater than V. V equals to B. Less than greater than. We cannot find relation between two quantities with opposite signs. And second one D less than V. We can write F less than W. W greater than V. V equals to B. I B greater than R equals to D. Here also less than greater than we can stop here only. Because opposite sign when we see opposite sign no need to conclude entire statement. Stop at opposite signs only. So conclusion 2 also does not follow. Neither conclusion 1 nor 2 is true for this question. Okay everyone this is our today's session. Inequalities based on direct inequalities and combined form. Okay. From this we have a chance to get 5 questions in reasoning for any competitive exam. This is simple and easiest topic. When we focus on equalities and inequalities we can answer question within the time. Okay. Practice more and more questions and you will better at inequalities. In this chapter of inequalities, you should be attention to give signs of inequalities. And be careful about either or case which has been described in introduction part. Okay. Relate the conclusions from the given statement carefully. Follow this. You will be perfect at inequalities concept. Thank you for watching. Those who are watching first time, please subscribe my channel SCS Vajra Tutorials and like the video if you like and share with your friends.